Okay, so let's cover what happened August 4th, the day after my birthday. Well, <laughs> it started off this morning on the wrong foot because Grandpa got me up first before I was supposed to get up and get ready for work. Then I went back to sleep, and then he goes, okay, now it's time to get up. So I got up then, and it was just like I went into puto, pilot auto Donna, meaning get everything done, get it done quickly. And that went from calling Woman's World Magazine to seeing why they sent me a bill when I told them to send me my money back so that I could write them a check for that bill and then, then it, we would ex just exchange things in the mail. Well, supposedly that check's on its way back to me, but they have to get that check going that way before they send the money back this way. Does that make a whole heck of a lot of sense? No, but more power to them. Blue Cross Blue Shield decided to send me a bill yesterday for $77. They got paid, and so I called my bank then, and I said, hey, did Blue Cross Blue Shield get their money? And they're like, oh, yeah. We don't know why they sent that to you. In the trash, it went. So then I knew today was trash day, so I'm going around the house going uh, it's just 90 miles an hour. Get that trash out before work. Be like, Zoom. so I did. Then after that, got made sure Grandpa was all squared away. But he was still trying to work on the mower because, remind you, he ran over the air filter with the mower. So we called the dude up that worked on the mower. He came back. He brought us tomatoes today. Thank you for that, dude. I have no clue what your name is. Sorry. And he worked on the mower, put a new air filter on there. So what, sadly, we're not getting a new mower. Notice how I said sadly because I kind of would like both mowers to match. Just saying. However, ha this day has been full of just potholes and pit holes. So I worked today, and I did get the sunflowers done. So here's an update on the artwork. Sunflowers are done. See? Now I'm working on this little bird deal. And that was, I worked, and he did his little thing all day, and I did my little thing all day. However, what ended up happening? Are you ready for this? I get off work. I go, where Grandpa's sitting on that side, and I put the key in the ignition. Something told me, look down at the message window. I did. When I did, did I get the shock of my life. Tire pressure low on the driver's side of the, the SUV. The one thing I didn't want to see is come up, okay? So at this point, I'm panicked. I'm like, okay, we're taking your car. This one's not going anywhere because it's losing air, and that's it. And so I didn't know what to do. We went to go eat at Arby's. Grandpa's service engine light on his car come on, but he's like taking it easy going, well, that happens to mine all the time. No big deal. I'm panicked and worried about that as well. We come back home. We eat. My mind's going a million miles an hour. You know, what can I do? Who can I call? Yada, yada, yada. I, I've called my mom. I posted on Facebook at this point, SOS. Uh, and then a few minutes later, uh, it was like the cavalry came to town because I called one of our neighbors. And he said, why don't you call State Farm Emergency Roadside Service? You pay for that. I'm like, I do? She's like, absolutely. So I called my State Farm people, who's 24-7, and this is the first time they're going to get a good thing from me so far. Notice the keyword so far. Um, they said, well, we're going to send this man out to help you, and he's going to change your flat tire or air your tire and see if he can't possibly fix your tire while he's there. And then, there's more to it. If it needs towed, then you'll have to wait till tomorrow morning for that. Oh, boy. Well, the guy comes out after about 20 minutes waiting for him. And he worked feverishly on that tire. We talked a little, but he worked feverishly on the tire. I pulled up, I pulled back, I pulled up, I pulled back. He looked and looked and looked for either something that had either punctured the tire, like a nail, a knife wound, 
something to that nature. Nothing showed up. He had me go get a pitcher of water. At first, I, want, I thought he wanted a picture from my cell phone. No joke. I said, well, I guess I can pull up a pitcher of water on my phone. He rolled his eyes. He goes, no, I'm talking about a pitcher of water to dump on the tire. So I went in the house and got a pitcher of water so we could dump it on the tire. Needless to say, there was nothing showing anywhere, which was bothersome. Um, he tried several times to inflate it. Each time it would conk out at 27. It just would conk out. So he ended up putting the spare on. My other tire is in the back end of the SUV. And he said it could be a weatherization problem. Could be. Keywords. But he couldn't find anything wrong with it. I said, Do you, well, you know, it's got to go back to the shop. I mean, that, there's no ifs, ands, or maybes. It's got to go back to the shop. So now I'm at an impasse of where, where, where is this money going to come from? Is it going to come out of my Christmas savings? Am I going to wait for the stimulus? <laughs> and, you know, just when you feel like you're getting ahead, you're getting behind. Just saying. But anyway, we don't know. But that's the deal on the whole car situation before anybody says, well, tell us more about the car. You've been told. Um, the spares on there, there's not much more they can do right now. It's there. Um, you know, I, I get frustrated. I get angry with that car, but I love that car. So it's, it's a half does one half does the other. You know, we had a decision to make here a few weeks back, uh, whether we were going to keep it or not. We put brakes on it and then by God, this thing happens. So I'm not, I'm tonight. I'm just, I'm, I'm ticked off. That's a good word. Ticked off. Anyway, um, I'm going to try and do some book review pages with you. And then I'm going to go downstairs and ride my bike tonight. I've decided to, I've got a little bit of a tension headache, but I think it's from all the stress and I just need to relax and have some Donna time before bed. Because if Donna doesn't get Donna time, there will be no Donna tomorrow. Just saying. So, take a deep seat. Book review next.